These guys have done a really good job of figuring out their instruments together. They don't meet all together. In fact, they've only met once together uh, this semester and once together last semester just to prepare for the concert. So Friday, we all got together during 6th and 7th hour, all 140 of us crammed into the band room uh, and played these songs. They did a super good job uh, on that rehearsal. And I'm always so amazed at how I can teach them because right now, we have a woodwind class, so that's flute, oboe, uh, clarinet, alto sax, bassoon. They all play in one class, and then we have a high brass percussion class, that's so trumpets and um, percussion. And then we have a low brass class with trombone, baritone, tuba, and horn. So they're all split into these three different classes, but the ability for them to come together and work really hard in the matter of two class periods and pull all this together is really phenomenal. So if you would, give them a round of applause for their hard work. This year's kind of been a mess uh, coming out of COVID. Uh, last year, we guys were so lucky to not have band as beginners during COVID because we had to wear masks and bell covers and separate. It was a, a nightmare uh, to teach these kids. But these kids have kind of been blessed with that. One of the things that we normally do for beginning bands is we have solo and ensemble, but with how timing worked and everything that we were doing in school, it was not working out for most of the beginning band. But we did have one group that performed at solo and ensemble, uh, and I, would rec I want to recognize them now. Our beginning percussionists, uh, they have another teacher, Miss Brown, who comes in. She's from the high school, and she comes and helps them. And uh, she was able to put together a percussion ensemble. And for solo and ensemble, they play in front of a judge, and that judge will give them a rating of a one through five. It's kind of like golf. One is the best, five is the worst. One is the highest division rating that they can get, and all of these percussionists earn a first division rating for their solo and ensemble. Our other musicians will have a chance to do solo ensemble next year uh, as a seventh grader, and we highly encourage it. It's a really good time for them to develop their skills individually, uh, and it gives them a chance to uh, get better on their instrument at their own level. Because not all these kids play at like the greatest level. They may not practice as much as other people, but we can still push them and make them even, even better than what they are right now. Our next song we're going to play uh, is one of my favorites. All my beginning band classes have played this because I just love the song so much. It's called Creepy Crawlies. It's all about bugs and the way that bugs make us feel. And we have a, a special tribute to uh, uh, the fly, I guess. The trumpets are gonna take off their mouthpieces and buzz, and it'll sound like a fly. And eventually the entire band will smash their foot and kill that fly, and then they'll play the death song from uh, Chopin's Funeral March. But this is creepy growling.
That's a fun song. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, all right, so we have three songs total. This is our last song that we're going to play. But before we play this one, uh, I have to give a couple of special shout outs. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Miss Brown. She's not here today. She actually had a, a baby uh, a couple months ago, a month ago. Um, and so she's been out on maternity leave, and she's uh, been a wonderful help all year long. She's done a tremendous job with these kids, helping them out as well. Uh, I'd also like to thank Mr. Rowan. Uh, he's the former high school band director at uh, Rogers High School. He's filling in for Miss Brown because she's on maternity leave, so that's awesome. Uh, he's done a tremendous job helping out uh, and getting these kids kind of organized and, and helping me out tremendously. Uh, I'd also like to get, uh, thank Mr. Kane. He was here. He's the assistant high school band director. He helped him and Mr. Rowan helped set up the stage completely. Uh, it saved about an hour and a half of my time after school, so that was a big help for me. Uh, and then I'd also like to thank uh, our administrators for their continued support uh, for our music programs. Anytime we have something going wrong or something that we need help with, they are the first to help us and figure out a way to help us. Uh, and so I tremendously appreciate them. Also appreciate, I see a lot of teachers and staff members from Kirksey out here uh, visiting and watching the show. So I appreciate you guys and your support of these kids and they have noticed you. I've seen, uh, they've been saying their names up here on the stage. I'm so excited that you're here, so I appreciate that. Uh, and lastly, uh, I would like to thank you guys as parents. Without you, this could not happen. Uh, it's clear that you guys support this and it's clear that they love this. Uh, and so I'm thankful for the support that I've got from you guys. Uh, money, uh, the amount of Tylenol that you bought, listening to the practice at home, uh, whatever you call it, whatever that support looks like, I greatly appreciate it. And I hope that you realize that as we go further in this uh, and they get older and they start doing more band, uh, the, it gets to be more fun, they enjoy it a lot more, and you guys getting involved is a big part of their lives. So, uh, we look forward to seeing you guys like in our band booster program and things like that, and it's a tremendous help to help out these kids, and they'll benefit from it greatly. So, we're going to close our final song, uh, which is going to be On Wisconsin, which is not, we don't call it On Wisconsin, that's our fight song, it's our curtsy fight song. This song's more geared towards our 8th grade playing it, but these are 6th graders playing this song, and they've done a really good job with it, too. So, here's our fight song. Thank you so much for coming out, and we hope you guys have a great summer.